In this video, I'll show you how to use the rank, um, percent rank, and percentile functions, which are all pretty useful. So what we have here is a list of about 50 soldiers, I believe, 44 soldiers, and their APFT scores. So if you want to um, show each soldier their rank, all you have to do is simply enter rank, the APFT um, score for the soldier, and the range of all the APFT scores. And this outputs the rank, and you drag this down. And as you see, um, the 300 was the top rank, three, um, 278 was the 13th rank, and so on. Percent rank, so it shows what percent better they would be than um, the rest of the soldiers. And so all you do for this, instead, you first um, input the range, and then you put the APFT score. And this shoots out the percent rank they are among their um, fellow soldiers. So for percentile, you list the percentiles that you want to see, and um, you then just put in equals percentile, since that's the function you're using, the range, which in this case is all the APFT scores, and uh, F2 right here, which is the percentile you're looking for. So then it um, gives you back APFT scores. So for the fifth percentile, the score is a 220, um, and so on. So 10%, 225 all the way up until the 100th percentile where it is 300. So this is something you could make into a chart to see what they have to achieve to get into what percentile based off of previous APFTs. Another easier way to do, um, to, well, another way to get the same data is to just click on data analysis up here. And then there's a rank and percentile function. I already had done this, but you click it and then you show the data and it'll output the APFT score right over here is the rank of that score and the percent that that score falls into. Lastly, you could create a pivot table from the data, and <clears throat> this is useful to see where your soldiers are falling into based off their APFT scores. So we have it categorized in groups. Uh, right here, it's just split from 216 to 226 and by 10, and so on. And it shows the number of soldiers that fell into each group based off their APFT score. So it's a pretty simple function, but it's one that can be useful when trying to categorize anything by the ranking, whether it's grading, uh, APFTs, or anything that has scores associated with it.